Good afternoon. This is Ron Brown. It is Sunday, August 8th, 2019. This is a, a very short video. I just wanted to uh, make some uh, comments about the market. And uh, one thing that uh, we should be looking for is if we're interested in playing the long side, uh, look for stocks uh, that have uh, strong relative strength compared to the market. Now, this is a uh, chart of the S&P 1500 and you can see that uh, it is uh, or it has broken down the uh, close is uh, below the three day exponential moving average and right at the six day exponential moving average it's also believe below the uh, 200 day moving average and all the other uh, moving averages above that including the 150. Now, when I look at the weekly chart, it, it really doesn't look that bad, but uh, uh, there has been a lot of volatility and a lot of pain this week, as uh, or this last week, as you all know, if you've been trying to play this market, because it's a directionless market. That's uh, pretty evident right here. This is uh, five days, the past five days. Let's take a look back at the uh, last 10 days. It's uh, It's just been all over the place, and this is represented by these two candles over here. You look at the uh, long wicks on here, uh, which is indicative of the uh, kind of market uh, that we've been in. My suggestion to you, if you want to uh, play this market, you should uh, be playing stocks that are stronger than the index. And uh, there uh, are many stocks that are doing just fine. It doesn't seem that way if you're in the wrong stocks because you can get beat up in a hurry. But uh, let me give you an example here. I'm going to right mouse click, change to the index group. I'm going to go into my files under strategies. If you're an Insider Club member, you have these. And I'm going to uh, first of all go to the Kirkpatrick relative strength. These are stocks with a Kirkpatrick RS rank of 97 and above $5 stocks trading at least 100,000 shares. If I click on that, sort on the raw combo, uh, there are 22 securities out of the S&P 1500 which pass this filter. These are stocks based upon the 30, uh, the relative strength I should say is based upon the 30 week moving average. That's what Kirkpatrick uses and uh, you can see his ranks here. 98, 99, and here's the raw Kirkpatrick rank. And if you look over here to the right, you can see the uh, HGSI relative strength, which is uh, figured differently. The, its uh, RS rank is based upon the last year with 40% uh, based upon the last three months, and then the other uh, uh, portion of the relative strength rank is 20, 20, 20 based upon the prior three quarters. So we have two different ways of uh, measuring relative strength. Now uh, the combo that I'm using here is the demand end of day combo, which is my standard combo. And let's just take a look at a couple of these stocks here. I'll get this out of the way. This is Replogen. Uh, you can see that it's obviously holding up very well. Uh, I always start over here at the left and look at the weekly chart. And when uh, these candles close in the upper portion of the trading range, that is a good indication that a stock is being accumul accumulated. If I come over here to the daily chart, uh, you can see that this stock is well above the 200, the 100, the 50. It's uh, above the 18 now. The uh, 3 is uh, going above the 6, or it's right at it. It's actually going above it, and that's evident here because the histogram shows a green bar above the zero line. There's also a pocket pivot. And uh, here are the percentages above or below the moving averages, and you can see that they're all positive. If we're going to be playing the long side, we want to make sure that the uh, stocks are in or outperforming the indexes and are among the highest relative strength stocks. Let's take a look at SolarEdge technology. This is 
made an amazing run over the past several weeks. And notice uh, the number of weeks where the stock has closed in the upper portion of its weekly range. Now it's getting extended, no question about it. Here's a gap up on earnings. Look at all these uh, uh, pocket pivots here. It's worked its way higher the last uh, three days or two days. It's come down. Uh, you can see that there's buying coming into the stock on this day. This uh, red circle means transfer of ownership. So it sold off, but buyers stepped up on a down day and uh, it's holding up uh, quite well. So another example of a strong relative strength stock that's uh, doing well in a uh, an elusive market. So with the uh, Kirkpatrick method of uh, ranking, we have uh, there are 22 securities out of the S&P 1500 that passed uh, the uh, screen. If I go to the uh, HGSI RS ranking, and I kept it at 97 here, same parameters, you can see that only 13 securities pass this based upon the HCSI ranking. So we have two methods of uh, looking for strong relative strength stocks, and uh, either one of them works well. Now, some days uh, the HCSI RS stocks, there will be more of them than the Kirkpatrick. It just uh, really depends uh, day to day. I want to take a look at a stock here, Live Person. Uh, you can see that this stock uh, moved up uh, nicely on the uh, weekly chart, went from expansion to contraction, uh, built a nice base, and then here's an effort to rise another one. And now it's uh, getting a little bit extended here. And uh, you can see that it's up against resistance here. Same thing on the weekly chart. So it may take some effort to get through here. Also, the group has been going down, but it did uh, turn up again. So if you're interested in playing the long side of this market, I suggest that you uh, consider looking at uh, uh, high relative strength stocks uh, because they're outperforming the index. Uh, most of the charts, most but not all of the charts, are uh, uh, pretty tight and uh, if money is flowing into these stocks in a very choppy market, uh, that's uh, usually a very good indication that uh, these stocks are being accumulated for further gains. That's not always true, but it's uh, one of the best ways I know of to uh, make sure that you're looking into the uh, uh, type of stocks that give you a chance at least of uh, moving up or moving higher. Thank you for listening.